And now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, please welcome uh, the Western Warrior, Henry Coyle! The Western Warrior leaving the dressing room, Henry Coyle, and they're standing it's up there. I tell you something, he was the world champion, and he wasn't going to be the reception. Wearing the white trunks trimmed with green and red. He weighed in at 11 stone, 3 pound, and comes from Gisala, the land of the salty breeze in County Mayo. He brings a nine fight professional record, eight wins, all wins, coming inside the distance with just one loss. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting and introducing the Western Warrior, Henry. The one thing about Henry Coyle, for tonight anyway, is that he desperately wants to please these people. It's Bernard Dunn so, sold thousands of tickets, but so could the same with, with Coyle. So he wants to really impress, he wants the people of his own place to be saved. Look at Henry, isn't he so awesome? And that's what he's after now, but don't get carried away by the crowd, Henry. Box your own fight, take your time. That was a right hand that rocked the Russian. It was an excellent right hand there from Coyle. That was a tremendous punch in the early stages of this round. Good right hand too from the Russian. Coyle grimaces as a deep intake of breath throws a right to the body. This sojourn in America has done Coyle the world of good. I'm trying to relate it to amateur boxing. If he came back as an amateur and boxed with this hurry that he has now, he'd be very hard man to beat. I've seen a few clips of Savi Ruidovic, he's got a real good solid jab there to me. You can tell by the way he delivers that jab. It's a real good potent punch. The way it's going into uh, to Henry Coyd's face. But Coyd takes it well. He just keeps... Oh, that's a cracking right hand from Sarinovic. Good solid right hand. That didn't shake Coyd, but he knew he'd been hit. See, Russia has produced so many good boxers in the amateur ranks. And those who go pro, I mean, there's an amazing basin of fighters in Russia. In what was the old USSR and now Russia. Russia. No, you can tell he's one of these fighters that Jimmy will always give you. He's a real tough character here. He's like a throwback to the 19, sort of 20s, like the, the, the Rocky Marciano days. That's the sort of fighter that, that he minds me on. He's good, solid stuff. And, you know, he, he's a real tough character. Look at real, oh, that's a nice uppercut there from Savarino. That's really good right hand, good uppercut. Boys are talking on the panel there about a substitute coming in and it might be easier for Coyle, but I think there's been enough of lessons learned in this first couple of rounds that uh, the Savrinovic does carry a shot. Maybe he's not carrying the combinations like Coyle is, or the punching variety, but he can certainly throw a punch. That one was a bit low there for Coyle. Not a foul, but just on the belt to realise to Savrinovic that Coyle can hit. That was good right hand from the Russian, who is not here for just lying down and taking his payday. He's in here to fight and give the mail. Coyle's a bigger looking man, he, um, on record. He, he's, he's got a, his punching tiles a lot more severe than Sarunovic's. So he's got all the advantages, as you can see here, he's carrying the pressure on now. There's no the punches coming from all, from all angles here, uppercuts, left hooks. That was good stuff from Coyle. So he's, he's responding to the crowd now. Yeah, but he's fighting a real tough crowd. Like, even though Sarinovic looks smaller in stature and he's not as big as, as, as well built, he's a tough, worry wee man and he, he's as hard as nails. And Coy's beginning to understand that and realise that now because Coy has caught him with some cracking shots there to the body and to the head. And the young Russian man just takes him and soaks them all up and comes back for more. Yes, he's some sponge, the Russian. He's taken some and he's thrown some too. And Henry Coyle, this is a really worthwhile fight for him. 
and they've substituted and he didn't come to lie down and just put out his hand and take the check in rubles or euro or whatever they want to pay him in but I'm certainly putting it up to Henry Coyle here so, and that's good, that's good for the morale of the people who paid in to see Henry because they know he's in a meaningful fight and that's the way it should be inside the last minute of round three by no means is this a foregone conclusion at this stage Coyle has him over in his corner, in his own corner right beside our camera I hope one of those punches doesn't miss the Russian because he didn't show the cameraman good right to Melissa Coyle some of them are a little, missing a little but he's applying the pressure and a lot of them Seven, eight punches going in there. How many are reaching target? That's up to you to count. And the referee. I doubt if either of you could do it. But for sure, it's pressure on the Russian. Good stuff from Coyle. Both hands. Non-stop. Piston-like. Coyle is pressing and pressing now. Has him up against the ropes. And that means he can't escape too easy. Very good fight. Really a good, good to second top of the bill here. And whilst you give Coyle great credit for pleasing his own public, you must give great credit to the visitor who may not have a friend in the whole hall. That was a cracking right hand there from uh, Savrinovic right in, in uh, Coyle's short rib. From Sven Portobar, from Foxford to Claire Morris to Cross Milan and Ballina and Castlebar. You can write a male song on this, but they're all here or appear to be all here home shouting home shouting home for Henry Coyle and there's not a That's voice it. of encouragement That's for a it. man from Russia That's who arrived in goodness knows the early hours of the morning and said listen I'm fighting tomorrow and they said you're what? but here he is and it's the last round and he's really putting it up to Coyle he's taken, he's absorbed a lot of punches and he's thrown a lot big finish from Coyle Big Vince oh, finish by the press. Kimmy, 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 Kimmy. One thing Dave was saying, he doesn't step back to give himself leverage on a shot, but yeah. if he's in that close, the other guy can't hit him either. Big, big finish from Coyle. Crowd right behind them. He's given them absolute value for money tonight. In this perfectly appointed place. And Coyle's come home, his homecoming to his home county among his own people live on RT television and he's coming in with a very good last round it's been a super homecoming from uh, Henry Coyle okay. That's it, like second ten. Second ten. the land okay. of the second okay. breeze and the scent on the breeze here in Brafie House in Castlebar would rather suggest that it's going to be the sweet smell of success for a man called Henry Coyle the bell will go any second now, but we've seen a really good professional fight. The sort of fight that makes people enjoy the sport of fighting in boxing. Henry Coyle has At the end of eight rounds of boxing, the referee David Irving's scorecard reads uh, for Sergei Savrinovich. 74 points, Henry Coyle, 78 points. The winner, Henry Coyle! 78 to 74. Coyle has won. Let them say what they like about Mayo people, but Mayo supporters are the best supporters in the world. I want to thank each and every one of them for spending the money come out here tonight to see me, an honour for me to put a show on for them. And they looked like they had a great time here as well. Your first one to go the distance, how did you find that? Ah, you know, it was grand. A bit nervous after six, you know, but I, I, it was still in the tank, you know. And thanks to my trainer here, Sam, and I'm going to give a big shout out, and of course, uh, the wizard himself, Dad, you know, Jerry. I'm going to give a big shout out to all the boys back in Chicago boxing. Uh, this wouldn't be available, this, I wouldn't be able to do this but for them. All the boys in Chicago boxing, boys in Irish ropes, pro promoter extraordinaire Brian Peters, Dominic Pasoli, eight count, and all the boys watching in Chicago tonight in the Irish Times Bar, O'Higgins on Clark Street, and a big oh, shout out to Davy and all the boys at Pro Construction. Thank you very much. Well, will we give a big shout out as well to the man you faced tonight because he was a late call up and he really put it up to you and landed a few. You mentioned the sixth round. There was an uppercut in there in particular that looked like a matter of a bit. 
I know, well, you know, I didn't hurt sadly through the brush off me, you know. With these fans behind me all the way, you know, you, you couldn't stop, you know. You, you had to show hard, but God's help, it's only, uh, it's only a stepping stone, you know. It's a, it's a great feeling to go the distance, you know, and to know you're fit enough to do it. And, you know, onwards and upwards from here, you know. And be back in America again soon for more fights and back here in Ireland, hopefully in Mayo again in Dublin, you know. Okay, and what a fight it was today. Congratulations, Henry Coyle. Yeah, and uh, I want to give a big shout out to my opponent, wherever he is. He, he came in on short notice. I, you know, it was like doing your homework for an exam and nothing coming up you had studied for. I'd done my homework for Delroy Mitchell or something, and he pulled out yesterday.